Hey, my name is Ben. Thanks for stopping by. Today uh, we have something very important going on. There's a, a crisis in our culture, and it's uh, relating to uh, television. And uh, people watch a lot of it, and there's a lot of uh, not that edifying stuff out there. So this is, uh, this is how to watch less fake news, less TV in general. So uh, we will get to it right away here, and we'll show you my favorite method for preventing excessive time being wasted on watching TV. So to assist us in this project, we're going to be using an H&R 9 uh, round uh, 22 long rifle uh, revolver. And Ruben here has... It's a German built, <clears throat> really fancy looking 22. It's just a 22. It's, it's just, just kind of glorified, so it's kind of cool looking. Tacticalized. And we'll with start with this, suppressor. and we'll kind of see what it looks like. We're gonna put probably 20 rounds through it or so. All right, all right, here we go. I'm all out there. Oh man, that thing still looks very usable. Let's go take a closer look. The, yeah, yeah, because of the way the target works. Right I'm going to unload. So, Ruben, tell us about the damage here. All right, so uh, on the front, we just have the really small entrance wounds, which aren't very exciting. Yep. Against the black, you can just see where the glass kind of powder Well, you know, you, can, you probably could still see most of the picture at this point. Yeah, so. I think around here it would be a bit funny. <laughs> right there, yeah. So, I don't know. This wasn't very effective. Wow, the exit holes are not that much bigger, really. I mean... You know, Popping through the plastic, it looks a lot. This more is awesome. that. Oh, is that metal? Yeah. Oh, yeah that, through the aluminum. That back or panel is metal. It is. Let me see if I can get a close up here of the front. I can kind of see the layers. But yeah, it's it's amazingly you know bulletproof. I wouldn't want to uh, be standing behind it probably, but I don't know. You think you would have survived if you were standing behind that? No. <laughs> don't use a TV as a guard if you're gonna you know try to hide behind something it's not a good idea so okay we're gonna try to make this so that it's fully unusable right now it's still in great shape so we're gonna work on that all right so what we're gonna do here now uh, we're gonna try to shoot it from the side to see if it's a little bit more effective uh, right on the top edge so go ahead Ruben he's got his double barrel huh are you gonna move over? Yeah, yeah, we're good, so. All right, ready? Woo! <laughs> hey, you know, that was uh, pretty effective. Let's let's look at this a little closer here. <laughs> it definitely kind of ripped it open, but did it, did the shot leave the other side? Okay, it went in. Well, I can see shot smears on the, you can see the, where the lead is. And then it all came out the other corner here. Oh, wow, yeah, wow. Quite effectively, actually. If you notice on the metal, you can That's see amazing. each BB hit. Beautiful. Yeah, okay. Stuff. <laughs> nice. Nice. Okay. Now we're just going to shoot it from approximately five yards away. This is just going to kind of give us an indication of what a pattern the spread is like on a 12 gauge at five yards. Wow. That's a lot tighter than I expected. That is really tight. So. If you shoot your TV from five yards away, it's not gonna be very beneficial if you're trying to destroy your TV. So <laughs> it's a really tight shot pattern. Okay, we are starting to make some progress here now. This is this is good. Hey look, I'm on TV. <laughs> oh yeah, Ruben's on TV, yeah. <laughs> That's perfect. Okay. Uh so now we're gonna we're gonna kinda back up the distance one at a time here. We'll go to ten yards next. So here we go from 10 yards. Wow. That spread out a lot more. I wonder if it's because of... Okay. I have a shotgun. choke on mine. So let me see if I... My barrel is a tiny bit different than his. So I'm going to see if uh, mine from the same distance is about the same. Okay. Alright, here we go. I'm going to shoot a little bit more towards the right. Yeah, tighter. Yeah, so my pattern is much tighter. So depending on if you have a choke on your barrel or not. Well, what's the length of your your barrel? Too? I don't know. Oh, they're pretty comparable. Yeah, similar length. 
All right, so coming around the back side here. Stop my shot. Did yours stay in? Yeah. Yeah. Mine came out the back again. Rubens did not. Don't break it. <laughs> All right, so uh, we're gonna finish this off here now. Uh, let's do, I'm gonna shoot it from, from 30 yards and just see what it looks like maybe. All right, here we go from 20 yards, actually not 30. Check it out. Ruben's watching the TV intently. <laughs> he did something weird. Look. Okay, here. Can you see the... Oh, wow. That's it. But That's it was like a... as a piece of glass cracked from the stress, it just... That's still look. a usable piece of the TV, though. That's right. not good. Let's look at the back here. Okay, wow. So from farther away, it totally catches all the BBs. <laughs> BBs? What do you call it? Shot, not BBs, right? Yeah. Okay, shot. So, okay, we're going to finish this thing off here now in good red-blooded American fashion. So, hang tight. And for the Ooh, grand funny, finale... What? Go ahead. Never mind. Okay, so here we go. We are ready to, to go here. We're going to go with five yards or maybe in a little less just because that was the most effective. In three, two, one... <laughs> And we're waiting for Ruben to reload. He's got double barrel. One, two. And now he's going to shoot a couple. Okay. Oh, man. I think that was it. Yep, that was it. Anyway, uh, yeah. All right, I'll stop. So I think it's pretty safe to say that nobody will be using this TV to uh, <laughs> watch anything on anytime soon. You never know. In a future life, it could be recycled and turned into a TV again, but that would be terrible. Yeah, our screws almost all came out. What is it? Oh. Oh, it's like an LED. Button. Button glass. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, oh, this. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> the metal is pretty shredded. Hold that up to the camera. Yeah, yeah. So uh, anyway, kind of interesting, uh, TV is something that is a lot of time is wasted on and uh, it kind of uh, is part of our heritage to not watch a lot of TV. Uh, our grandpa uh, won a color TV back in the olden days, whenever they were kind of first coming out. And uh, they had it for one week exactly and my dad said uh, after Basically, the kids watching too much TV, which probably was like a half hour a day or something. Uh, he took the TV and he ran a crowbar through it. But actually, that's not true. He actually sold it and got a radio instead. But he always dramatizes it and says that <laughs> he ran a crowbar through it. Did you know that? No, I've actually not heard that story you didn't anymore. Hear? Okay. No. Anyway, uh, so yeah, uh, the other thing that he says to people or grandpa would say to people people would be like well what do your kids do all the time if they don't have a tv uh he basically would tell them my kids are doing what your kids are watching so anyway uh <laughs> yeah go do something and enjoy yourself and don't just sit around watching tv all the time or youtube for that matter <laughs> <laughs> yeah don't watch too much youtube it's very bad but at least you can like choose what you're watching on youtube so that's why it's okay some of the time Anyway, you have any final thoughts, Ruben? Oh, I don't think so. We need to find another TV to get rid of.